Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin. If you're new here, if you've been here before, welcome back. And in today's video, I will be filming this fall look. So if you want to see how I get this look, then please just keep watching. To start, I already filled in my brows off camera. I used the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in the shade 40. And then I'm just going to clean them up using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 410. Concealer using my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette using the sculpting shade. And then to start off on my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Juvia's Place Masquerade Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm gonna take that brown shade from the bottom row and just use it as my transition right above the crease. that last shade from the second row and I'm gonna go into my crease just to deepen it and then I'm just gonna use circular motions until it's blended well enough into the transition shade to that same palette and use that shade next to the shade that I just used and go on the lid. And now I'm just going to prime my face. I'm going to use the Touch and Soul No Problem Prop. No Problem Primer. I can never say that right. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to use that primer to prime my face. And then for my face, I also decided to try something new for this look. I decided to use a loose finishing powder on top of the primer before my foundation. So the, the, um, the powder that I used was the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 40 Dark. And then for my foundation, I went in with the Maybelline Super Stay Liquid Foundation in the shade 360. And then I also mixed that with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW45. And then I'm just going to spray my Mario Bescu spray just to blend it in with the foundation. I decided to try the uh, finishing powder technique under the foundation from, I saw it on Jackie Ina's video, and you know, we all like to watch Auntie Jackie. I decided to try it to get more coverage because I don't like to use too much foundation. I don't like a, a cakey look. So I decided to try it, and I did like the way that it came out. But now I'm just gonna go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I forget the specific shade, but I'll have everything I use linked down below. I use this as my concealer under my eyes. I also use it on my forehead, down my nose, on my chin, and a little bit under my nose. And I'm just gonna blend that out with a brush. concealer in the shade 40 and I'm just using this under my eyes I decided to use this concealer on top of the other because it has more of a golden undertone and I like that under my eyes I'm 
just gonna set that with my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And I'm gonna basically use that everywhere I use concealer to prevent anything from creasing. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender to apply that powder. I use it dry because I don't like to use a wet Beauty Blender or a damp Beauty Blender when I'm applying a loose powder like that because it applies it kind of splotchy. And now I'm just gonna wipe away that powder and set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder Foundation in the shade 355. contour using my black radiance true complexion contour palette this isn't the same one that i used to set my uh concealer for my eyeshadow i used the lighter shade the medium one this is the dark one so i'm just going to use that scope shade in the middle to do my contour and bring some some color back into my face I do that because that powder is pretty dark I like to just go over everything again with that Maybelline fit me face powder and now I'm just gonna go over my nose lightly with that same powder I don't like to go too heavy on the nose because that powder like I said before is pretty dark and I just go lightly with an eyeshadow brush over my nose for my nose contour. And then after I go over my nose contour, I go over it lightly with that face powder again. And now I'm just going to go with my powder bronzer in Mahogany by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to bronze my face a little bit. And then after I bronze, I'm just going to go in with more powder. Again, I know this is a lot of powder, but once I'm finished applying all of the powder, I'm going to spray some facial spray and then it's going to get rid of that dry look. So I'm going to use my Mario Badescu Cucumber Facial Spray just to get rid of that powdery look and then blend everything in together. So now I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place, the Saharan 2 palette. And I'm just going to use that shade in the bottom right corner and I'm just going to use it as a blush. dark palette and I'm just gonna highlight on my cheekbones down my nose above my lip and a little bit on my forehead to the eyes I'm gonna take both of those shades I used on the eyes and I'm gonna go on the lower lash line and just apply them there and then I'm gonna go on with my NYX vinyl liquid liner and do a wing liner and just go in and fill in my waterline. And now I'm just gonna take my Too Faced Better Than Six mascara and put some mascara on my eyelashes before I apply my falsies. 
and I can't remember which eyelashes I used so I'm just gonna skip past that I'm not gonna include that and now I'm just gonna take that same shape the shimmer shape that I used on my lid and put that in my inner corner I decided to do two lip options for this look. The first one is more of a nude. I just used the ColourPop BFF3 Lippy Pencil by itself and just filled my lips in all together. shade brick house i prefer this one versus the first one i just decided to do two to give you guys some options to my channel. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.